What's good, Abe? What's good? It's your boy Jay Jensei back in a good way. And I'm here to bring you a reaction video to the Summer Fest that just dropped yesterday. Now, unfortunately, for whatever reason, <laughs> I wanted to watch this whole entire stream with you guys and like be astounded by the different games that's coming out and any new releases that I don't know about because I've been trying my best to avoid Twitter. But unfortunately, for whatever reason, when I'm trying to watch this video and record at the same time, it kind of goes through like a buffering moment without it actually buffering. And what happens is that it ends up feeling like the video is like stuttering. And I don't want to give you all that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pan through to see which games were announced. I'll look them up and I'll react to them for like separate videos. And have it all in like just this one video. Alright, so I actually have no expectations really for what's to come. So whatever pulls up, <laughs> it's going to catch me. But before we hop in, go ahead and hit that bell icon so you get notifications for any videos that I drop. Hit that like button so I know this is more videos that you want to see later in the future. And hit that subscribe so you get those same videos immediately after they drop. Alright, let's go ahead and hop in. Game called No More Room in Hell. I don't think I've ever seen this game before. I'm here for a good horror game. Is it a zombie game? Oh, somebody getting snacked on. Yeah, it's a zombie game. Now, how far of a zombie game is this? What kind of zombies are we dealing with? You got the regulars. They're all looking pretty regular so far. I got a pipe bomb here. Permadeath. Eight player co op sounds kind of crazy actually. Now, is this eight player co op as like um doing rounds or eight player co op like going through story? That was the homie that just died. So, once your homie passes, it's immediate. Look at that nasty monkey foot. This game is going to be so lit when it comes out. And what makes it even better, bro, is that I have a Soulsborne itch at the moment. Elden Ring is gonna scratch it, but I'm gonna need Wukong to pull up too. I guess four different gods. I don't know nothing about um that August 20th. Hold on. Hold on. August 20th. Oh, that's closer than I thought it was going to be. Oh, Wukong is on the way. Wukong is on the way. Wukong is on the way. My bank account is going to be taking so many hits. Hey, our summer is kind of our summer is kind of crazy. We got Elden Ring. I have Final Fantasy 14. What's coming in July? What's coming in July? What's coming in July? Because August we got Wukong. Oh, this is going to be nasty. It is said that we all have inherited heroic virtues deep within us. Metaphor is. We oppress. We fight. Let me pay attention. I'll pay attention first. 
cruise through this land. Damn, she got capped. and followers will gather to your side remind people that the same powers lie dormant within them on guard you must acquire more archetypes and bring them together Type whose existence was only theoretical. You wield power now. October 11th. Okay. We're getting Metaphor on October 11th. So Metaphor is a game where... It's going to be like, I can't say like the persona for me, but I can also say the persona for me for now. A great evil flows through this land. I hope I really like this game. I have expectations for it. So I'm in hopes, but I don't want to put too much on it. I feel like it's going to be good, though. <laughs> so this was said Street Fighter 6 Fatal Fury. What does that entail? Speaking of Street Fighter 6, bro, I haven't, man. I still have yet to play Akuma. Like, I deadass had no time so far to actually play Akuma. Nigga, is that, is that, is that Terry? That boy Terry. How you doing, bro? Terry Bogard, my nigga. Am I? Yeah, Fatal Fury. How you doing, my? Still so pretty. Who this? Who this? Elena? Oh my gosh, she looks so good. Hold on. Oh, and this little psycho comes back. Yo, I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought he was gone. Fuck out of here. Wait a second. Fuck out of here. Wait a second. Fuck out of here. Wait a second. M. Bison, Summer 2024. Okay, cool. Fucking Terry Bogard. Fucking Terry Bogard is coming to Street Fighter 6. Terry Bogard is coming to Street Fighter 6. He's coming in fall. And look at it. I got to look at Elena. Elena actually makes me hype. Well, not hype. I won't say that. But happy to see her new design. Her hair is longer. She's older. It's crazy to see her again. I haven't seen her since Street Fighter 4. And my Shirinui is making her way to Street Fighter. What is happening? Street Capcom and SNK. What is what is happening for real? What is happening for real? This is actually my favorite dude in the King of Fighters series. Terry fucking Bogard. When he came to, 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 to Smash Bros, that was my dude. I love Terry Bogard. Terry is coming to Street Fighter 6. What is happening? What is happening? I thought I thought they were just like, you know, showing this and it was gonna be like, you know, like 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 costumes or something like that for your um your avatar, because they don't believe in costumes for the actual playable characters and whatnot. So that's what I thought this was. No, they're actually playable characters. Terry Bogard is coming to Street Fighter 6. Elena is coming back. Deal with the healing stances. Or healing super. My Shirinui is coming to Street Fighter 6. What is happening? What is really happening right now? Bison Stankass is coming back. I thought he was gone. I thought he was supposed to be, you know, 
underground but i guess not terry is coming to street fighter 6 bro <laughs> that's insane a test of power i guess we'll see this will be when the true battle begins spark is going to be so lit Oh, look how good this looks, bro. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This, this Goku and Frieza fight is gonna give me shivers. I really wish we got an homage of Vegeta. For Dragon Ball Fighters. No matter what it takes, I need to rescue Gohan. Goku, wait! What? Never forgive me for this. Now you will suffer. What? What? And Trunks can pull up with you too. Yo, are these like what if series coming into the storyline immediately? This game's gonna be so fucking hype. October 11th? October 11th? 2024? October 11th? Oh, wow. Uh, um. Metaphor. I know you're coming out on October 11th as well. Um. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> you got Tenkaichi. Pulling up Tenkaichi 4, aka Sparking Zero. Pulling up on the same day that you release. Oh, this is going to be rough. This is going to be rough. And it has What If series immediately. Goku turns Super Saiyan against Great Ape Vegeta. For hurting Krillin. Oh my goodness gracious. What is this? What is this? What, what is this? What is this, bro? What is this Summerfest? This Summerfest is 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 ridiculous. The Summerfest is ridiculous. Why do people choose to sleep? This trailer kind of loud. It's because they're afraid to hey. wake up from the dream. Shouts to Honkai. Y'all probably don't know. Everything I've been loving this game since it dropped. Look at Sparkle. This game is um, I never thought like a gotcha turn-based game would be so good the nightmarish past will disperse and fade away like bubbles in water and the future that you don't want to face jade with a whip and firefly This is a pretty loud trailer in my ears. Why do people choose to slumber? Because in the end, and that violin hitting. Okay, so that was just a trailer to show off like. Hi, March. What? Wait a second. Wait a second, 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 wait a March is going to be on the front line. I'm going to have to look into that. See what she's going to be. I hope, I hope, ah, she's probably going to be Hunt. Ah, she's probably going to be Hunt. Oh, why can't you be Destruction? Whatever. <laughs> All right, Monster Hunter. I hope this game is going to be good. I hope this game is gonna be good. Why are you here? You can't do this alone. 
You know what? I have no doubt. I have no doubt. Monster Hunter has been fun. I started Monster Hunter in Worlds. And it's been fun ever since. I have no doubt. This is like 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 little 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 monster fodder, ain't it? Little ass just to be around. Why would you run into the shifting sand? Okay, this is like the actual monster. She has a bow gun. Okay, so I'm happy that we at least get to keep like a uh, ooh a mount. My son's wilds. I'm here for you. Is there a release date? 2025. Okay, wish list. I'm here for you, my son's wilds. We'll do, we'll do, we'll do great. Get bonuses in my son's wilds for our my son's world in Iceborne. Unfortunately, I'm gonna get this on PC, so I won't have that because that's on my PlayStation. But that's life. That is life. I'm here for you, my son's wilds, though. I'll be playing you when you come out. Alright, it's like this was like the last game that I was interested in for the Summerfest at least. It's a new IP called Blade Zero. I think we've seen like some gameplay of this before, and it looked pretty good. I sound like somebody like walking at all times in both my left and right ear. They hung a horse. People are treacherous. That was cool. What is this music? Of course, he'll pick you up with the weak hand. Alright, there's a stamina gauge like usual. You have two weapons. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not a fan of y'all doing this. Before the trailer even ends, y'all put up y'all 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 extra stuff. You know what? Wait, who, who was this again? This is GameSpot? Okay, GameSpot, I understand. I'll, I'll, I'll not click on another video <laughs> to, to watch stuff from you ever again. Uh, Phantom Blade looks pretty sick. I actually want to see actual gameplay. Well, we did see gameplay actually, but more. This is pretty sick. I don't want to see them ads again. But yeah, you know what I mean, like a, like a, like a, like an in-depth type of gameplay. Wait, is it, hold on, I'm looking at the, the swords at the moment. Is it two swords you can use? I'm noticing there's a, a flame, a purple flame, and a number right under. And there was a time that he used a weapon. And it was, like, gaining meter to come back. Up right now is at zero. That's pretty sick.
wish I could see like the, the final parts, the final parts without uh, the whole GameStop stuff on the screen, but whatever. Um, I think Summerfest had a good amount of really good games. I do have to like run it back and see if I can check out the indie games and see if there's anything that would interest me that I want to like pick up. But for right now, these are the games that I was like really, 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 really interested in. Uh, I wanted to like stream this, but stream is being weird. And for whatever reason, it kept like pausing and going and pausing and going, but it wasn't like a buffer. It, 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 was, it was weird. But regardless, if you like what you see, go ahead and drop a like button. If you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe so more will pop up on your feed immediately after. And then the comment section, let me know for this summer fest of 2024, what was your hypest game that you were able to see? What game were you like wishing before you seen Summerfest to come through? Let me know if it actually came through or if it's still a game that has yet to pull up. But I, I see you guys in the next one. Deuces.